This is a federally uh, contracted facility here. This is the involvement of federal funds. This is in my state of Florida, uh, and we are being denied entry to see about the welfare of children as well as to find out about the children that have been separated from their parents. And that's why we are here. The immigration controversy reaching a boiling point. Today, a standoff in Homestead as Senator Bill Nelson and Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz tried to enter a facility where immigrant children are being held. As a result of Democrat-supported loopholes in our federal laws, most illegal immigrant families and minors from Central America who arrive unlawfully at the border cannot be detained together or removed together only released. And as you can hear, the president not backing down from his policy of separating children and parents at the border, tweeting today, quote, Democrats are the problem. They don't care about crime and want illegal immigrants, no matter how bad they may be, to pour in and infest our country, end quote. Now, the president insists laws passed by Democrats are forcing his hand on this issue. Tonight, many elected officials, including Republicans, are coming forward saying there needs to be another another way. And there are calls from both Democrats and Republicans in Washington to change the law to make it crystal clear that children and parents cannot be separated. And we will get to that in a moment. But first, Senator Bill Nelson confirmed late this afternoon some very big news about a facility down in Homestead. CBS 4's Mike Cuno is live in Homestead. Mike, what can you tell us? Yeah, guys, when asked by CBS News, the Department of Health and Human Services says this facility behind me in Homestead was for unaccompanied minors. But according to Senator Bill Nelson, there are 94 kids here who have been separated from their families. And he also added in a tweet that him and uh, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz not being allowed in this facility was inexcusable. Senator Bill Nelson and Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz say they came to this holding facility to check on the living conditions of some 1,000 migrant children, but their access was denied. At this time, you won't be getting given access to the but you're more than welcome. We're not going to be given access to the facility. Why? This is the involvement of federal funds. This is in my state of Florida, uh, and we are being denied entry to see about the welfare of children. With protesters in attendance, the senator and congresswoman were told they'd have to make plans two weeks ahead of time before they could tour the Homestead Temporary Shelter for unaccompanied minors. Senator Nelson called it a cover-up by the Trump administration. They are obviously trying to cover up. They don't want us to see it. I'm going back and will be on the floor of the Senate tonight uh, telling the Senate exactly what has happened today. Meanwhile, Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz called for the resignation of Kirsten Nielsen, the Homeland Security Secretary, who has defended the president's policy of separating families of illegal immigrants. So this is absolutely obstruction and blocking and cover up by President Trump, Secretary Nielsen, who should resign because she's abdicated and is disqualified from a, from a position of public trust. In a letter to Congress, the U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce denounced the policy and added this is a wasteful use of costly law enforcement resources and it has a severe impact on the families involved. Earlier today, Miami-Dade commissioners passed a resolution urging lawmakers to pass legislation to keep children and their families together who have illegally crossed the border. We spoke to Commissioner Esteban Bovo. The sentiment in the community is that, you know, this is maybe a little bit too far uh, when you start uh, physically taking a child out of a mother's hand or a father's hand. That's just something that none of us can, none of us can find that acceptable. Now, in a letter to the HHS, Florida Governor Rick Scott said they knew back in February that this facility for unaccompanied minors would be reopened, but he reaffirmed his stance that he does not agree with the policy to separate families. And Homestead, Mike Cunio, CBS4 News.